so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this magnifying glass effect in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and and i have used the ev for this here you can see so first of all we'll model this magnifying glass and then we'll show you how you can create this kind of effect so now let's start the tutorial so first one i'm just going to uh, delete everything pressing the a and uh, here you can see so after that i'm just going to set my 3d cursor into a word horizon here you can see so first of all we are going to make a magnifying glass model so for making this magnifying glass i will use uh, one circle here so i'm just going to my add section and from here i'm just going to add this circle and after that i'm just going to edit mode of this circle pressing the tab and i think i should little scale this first of all yeah that's look fine to me and after that i'm just going to select all edges of this circle then i'm just going to extrude inside pressing the e and s something like that and that's look great to me and after that i'm just going to select everything pressing the a then i'm just going to extrude it upside something like that and that's look great to me also okay and after that i'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier on it pressing the control 2 okay so it will look like this then i'm just going to select the all edges side edges of this uh, circle something like that then i'm just going to press the control b for the bevel so it will look like this and that's look great to me so you can see now we have a perfect uh, corner here bevel corner now i'm just going to uh, add the shade smooth as well so it will look like this and that's look great to me then after that i'm just going to make a handle of this uh, magnifying glass so for that i'm just going to add one cylinder here then i'm just going to my front view and from here i'm just going to change a line as a view then i'm just going to scale it down something like that and keep it here in between here yeah that's look great and i think i should little scale this yeah okay uh, so make sure after doing a scale you apply this scale as well then i will select the cylinder and uh, going to scale little bit and keep it here okay after that i'm just going to my top view then i'm just going to keep it uh, this cylinder here okay then i'm just going to extrude it little bit again i'm just going to extrude it in a y axis then i'm just going to scale little bit something like that and then i'm just going to extrude again y axis and going to scale it something like that and i will do one more time yeah and i will scale it little bit and then i'm just going to bevel this edge pressing the control b and something like that so here you can see that will look like this then i'm just going to unhide everything except this handle and going to add the bevel in this side as well pressing the control b and going to add the bevel yeah and then i'm just going to add the subdivision surface modifier for adding more smoothness so it will look like that and make sure you add the shade smooth as well so it will look more smoother then i'm just going to unhide everything pressing the alt h so here you can see we have a a magnifying shape here then i'm just going to add one uh, spare here uv spare okay and going to uh, scale it something like that yeah and then i'm just going to scale it something like that also okay so that look fine to me and i'm just going to move it little bit upside so it should be uh, divided equal to both side yeah and make sure you add the subsurface modifier on it so it will look more smoother and shade smooth as well so now uh, i'm just going to add uh, some extra detailing in this part as well so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to unite this uh, subsurface surface modifier first of all then i'm just going to select this shape basically okay and going to select these shape pressing the alt shift something like that then i'm just going to press in the shift d okay and then i will just press the p for the separate selection so here you can see now we have a that kind of shape here here you can see if i will just move it okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, delete this subsurface modifier from here and i'm going to enable for this shape as well now i'm just going to hide everything except this uh, separate shape then i'm just going to edit mode of this shape and going to add some extra geometry extra loop in between here 
so it will look like this and that's look fine to me okay and after that i'm just going to uh, select all faces i'm just going to select the one face then i'm just going to press the shift g and here you will see the option it's called polygon slide okay and then i'm just going to uh, extrude it pressing the alt e and here you will see the extrude along the normal so i'm just going to press here then i'm just going to extrude it something like that and that's look fine to me yeah that's look great to me okay and then i'm just going to select uh, one face again and then i'm just going to press the shift g and here i will select again it's called polygon slide so now right now it will select all of these polygon so we don't want this so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to do again select this one face then i'm just going to press the shift g and here i will select this perimeter section so it will only select the outer faces of this cylinder then i'm just going to uh, press the alt e and here i will just uh, do extrude individual faces so it will extrude something like that and then i'm just going to change our origin point into our individual origin and then i'm just going to scale it something like that pressing the s so we will get this kind of shape here okay and that look great to me uh, make sure you just change this shade smooth as a shade flat so it will look like this and that's look great to me so when i'm going to unhide everything pressing the alt h so that will look like this and that look great to me okay so we should do little backward yeah so here you can see we have a that kind of shape here and that's look great to me also okay so our modeling part is done so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, select my all uh, shapes here i'm just going to select this glass part this outer part and this part and at the last i'm just going to select this uh, handle then i'm just going to link the all object uh, with this um, handle pressing the control p here i will just do set parent as a object so right now what will happen so when i'm just going to move this handle sorry so when i'm going uh, so when i'm just going to move this handle something like that so everything will go with them so that will look great to us and we can move easily this whole uh, object uh, only holding this handle so that's great by the way okay and we can also move these uh, object individually as well if you we want and if you want to edit anything okay then i'm just going to keep this uh, magnifying glass little bit upside then i'm just going to add one plane here it's going to scale it then I'm, so now i'm just going to switch my rendering mode from here then i'm just going to add one sdri from my sdri gaffer okay then i'm just going to add one color on this base plane I'm just going to add the black color okay so now i'm just going to add the some uh, material on this magnifying glass so for that i'm just going to my shading panel and here i'm just going to add a new material and now i'm just going to add one color ramp and keep it here then i'm just going to attach this color to the color and now i'm just going to change this color a little grayish something like that and same thing we'll do with this part as well little gray okay so that's look great to me and after that i'm just going to add one musgrave texture and keep it here then i'm just going to join this one to this one so we'll see this kind of effect here so first of all i'm just going to add one texture coordinate uh, node pressing the control t so here we'll see the texture coordinate node i'm just going to keep this as an object so it will look like this and that's look great to me and i think we should do a little metallic yeah that's look great okay so from here i can change some settings here then we can just uh, increase and decrease the scale so we'll uh, see something like that and i think that look great to me so we'll just uh, link this texture with uh, this handle as well just going to select this handle first then i'm just going to select this round part then i will just press the control l and here i will just link as a material so it will automatically add this material into this handle part as well and that's so great to me and for this i'm just going to add one uh, color here and uh, increase the metallic value and then i'm just going to add little grayish so that look fine to me also okay so now at the last i'm just going to add the material on this middle part so we'll 
add one uh, glass BSDF from here then I'm just going to cut this and I'm just going to join this to this something like that so it will look like this so first of all I'm just going to add one image in under this uh, lens so we can easily see through so for that I will just add one plane here I'm going to add one new material on it then I'm just going to add as a image texture and then I'm just going to call this image from my system I'm just going to call it something like that then I'm just going to little bit upside going to scale it and now we'll try to see through with this uh, magnifying glass but right now we can't see anything so for that what we, we have to do so first of all we have to just go to our render properties and from here we have to just go to enable our screen reflection so it will look like this then we have to just open this screen reflection section and here we have to just enable our refraction as well but still we can't see anything here and make sure you enable the ambient occlusion as well so you will see the better shadows of these uh, object basically okay but still we can't see anything till now okay if I'm moving anything we can't see anything so what we have to do we have to just go to our uh, material section and from here we have to just increase our screen refraction so when we will click on it so we can easily see through uh, with this magnifying glass okay so first of all I'm just going to little scale it so we can easily see it by the way and we have to scale this magnifying glass as well and um, sorry move it here so now we have to just maintain our uh, magnifying zoom so how we can maintain basically we have to just go to again our uh, material property section and from here we have to just increase the uh, IOR values so if I will increase the IOR value so that magnifying glass going to uh, zoom also uh, okay so we have to just increase our IOR value so when I'm just going to increase the IOR value so it's going to zoom uh, inside and when I'm just going to decrease the IOR value so it's going to zoom outside so we have to set from the here by, by the way so how much zoom we need it so first of all I'm just going to scale this part uh, then we can see which how much we need it so I think that much is fine to us here you can see that look great to me and that's doing a great job we can perfectly use this magnifying glass seeing this blender more uh, big okay that's look great so that's how we can create this magnifying glass effect in blender and in EV as well okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys